This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with fertilizer prices, rates, and cost for 2023. In September 2022, the anhydrous ammonia price average for Illinois was $1,318 per ton. That was up over August levels, down from spring levels when anhydrous ammonia was over $1,600 per ton, but still well above prices last year in September. DAP was $947 per ton, and that was a high price and well above last year's levels, and potash was $857 per ton, again above last year levels. If we use September 2021 prices to calculate cost and compare that to September 2022 prices, we come up with total fertilizer cost of $175 for 2021, and that increased to $247 per ton using September 2022 prices, or a $72 increase. Fertilizer cost for soybeans increased from $85 per ton up to $110 per ton, or a $25 increase. What these price increases suggest is that we again should be looking at rates. In particular, phosphorus and potassium, if we have soil test levels above those that cause a yield response, we should be dramatically reducing or maybe even eliminating P and K levels. According to the Illinois Agronomy Handbook, if we have soil bray P levels above 60 to 70 pounds per acre, we will not get a yield response. For potassium, if we have soil test levels above 360 to 400 pounds per acre, we will not get a yield response. If we're not getting a yield response, then cutting rates or eliminating rate, uh, for P and K applications makes good economic sense. As far as nitrogen, keeping those rates at MRTNs will result in the most profit, and those rates are 157 pounds for northern Illinois, 166 pounds for central Illinois, and 185 pounds for southern Illinois. Again, if we're above those those rates, and those are in actual N, we can increase profits by reducing rates. Overall, we are seeing high fertilizer prices now, and that is a result of high corn and natural gas prices. There are strong correlations between corn, natural gas, and anhydrous ammonia prices. As corn and natural gas go up in price, we will expect to see anhydrous ammonia go up in price as well. Natural gas is at its highest level since 2009, and corn is well above average levels. And the last time we saw corn at the current levels was back in 2012 and 2013. All that leads to high prices for anhydrous ammonia. Going into spring, Anhydrous ammonia prices may come down, but that would be likely be associated with either lower corn prices or lower natural gas prices. Natural gas prices could come down if we have, for example, a warm winter or the Ukraine-Russia war conflict cools a bit. You can read more about this in the Farm Doc Daily listed in the video description below.